Good morning everyone. Today our discussion is all about CBSC 101 Part 2. So let's start. So our first discussion is about academic loan. So no student shall be allowed to take more than the maximum credits per semester. For the academic load, a graduating student may be allowed to enroll more than the maximum allowable credit units not to exceed 26 units during the last two semesters of this course provided that he has a GPA of 2.5 or better in the previous two semesters as certified by the, by the university registrar. A graduate student petitioning for registering up to maximum allowable academic load must secure a certification from the university registrar that he is a graduate student. During summer program, a student may be allowed a maximum of three lecture courses or one with laboratory and one lecture course. No student will be allowed to register with two laboratory courses except when one is a co-prerequisite of the other. For the class attendance, a student who has been absent from classes must obtain an excuse leave from the Office of the Student Affairs or OSA and present this to the instructor concerned on the daily return to class. Excuse or for time missed only, work covered by the class during the absence shall be made up within a reasonable time to the satisfaction of the instructor. If a student has been absent in 20% of the time schedule devoted to the class without justifiable reason, he or she shall be dropped from the roles. If the majority of these absences are not excused and the student's performance is poor, he or she will receive a grade of 5. For the changing, adding, or dropping of courses, transfer to other section must be made for valid reason only such conflict in schedule. No change in matriculation shall be allowed after three weeks of regular classes. Change in subject can be accomplished by filing up a changing or dropping forms duly noted by the registration advisor and the instructor concerned and approved by the college dean concerned. A student with the consent of the instructor concerned and the dean of the college where he is enrolled may drop a subject by filing a prescribed form for the purpose. No dropping of subject is allowed after the midterm examination has elapsed due to illness and other justifiable reasons. Dropping of courses or subject shall only be made for valid reasons. Number one, if there is a conflict of schedules, you registered higher courses without passing the prerequisite courses, registered major course without passing all the required basic courses, except in cases where the basic course are offered in a semester concurrent with the major course. Dropping of courses shall be made within six weeks after the start of the regular classes. Dropping of courses beyond this period shall not be allowed except due to illness or change of residence. A student shall maintain the maximum 12 unit load even after dropping certain courses. Refund for draft courses shall be made within 3 weeks or 15 days after the start of the classes. For the re-enrollment of subjects, no student shall be allowed to repeat or enroll a subject for more than 3 times. A student who fails a subject for the third time shall be permanently disqualified from further registration in the university. After the student has taken the subject for the second time and fails, the registration advisor shall be informed by the registrar regarding the status of the subject. For the prerequisite subjects, a student shall not be allowed to register an advanced subject without passing or satisfying the requirements of the prerequisite subjects specified in the curriculum. Passing of grades obtained in the advanced courses without first satisfying the prerequisites shall be considered null and void by the university registrar. Concurrent registration of the prerequisite and an advanced subject is not allowed. However, a registration of two major courses determined to be co-requisites by the college department concerns may be allowed. For the leave of absence, a student who is granted leave of absence or LOA within 75% of the time 
devoted to a semester shall be given a corresponding grade by the instructor. Concern for record purposes only, but this will not be reflected in its permanent record. A student is granted leave of absence due to illness or other justifiable reasons after 75% of the time has elapsed, shall be given numerical grade depending on his or her class performance. For the honorable dismissal, honorable dismissal shall be issued by the university registrar to a student who stopped schooling in the university provided that he was not found guilty of misdemeanor defined under the university student's non conduct If a student left the university for reason of misdemeanor and or academic delinquency, no certification of honorable dismissal shall be issued. For the grading system, the university shall adopt the numerical grading of 1 to 5 where 1 is the highest grade and 5 is the failing grade. For the honor student, a student who obtained a GPA of 1.75 to 1.5 in the semester shall be listed in the Vice President for Academic Affairs Honor Student List. While those who obtain GPA of 1.5 to 1 shall be included in the President's List of Honor Student. For the grade of 4 or 5, if a student is unable to remove a grade of 4, through a removal examination or has not completed the requirements to remove his grade of incomplete within one year from the last semester when these grades were obtained. This grade shall be automatically converted to a grade of 5 by the university registrar. So this is the end of our student handbook, CBSU 101 Part 2. Again, see you on the other part.